Hello everybody. How are you guys doing? Um, today I wanted to do instead a doll review um, because nobody has been really been doing reviews on this particular doll. So instead, as I saw that nobody was reviewing it, I was like, okay, I guess I'll go ahead and um, do a review and check her out. Uh, so this is the African American princess doll Imani. Um, she's also made by Olmec Toys, and it has a very uh, interesting story behind the uh, brand itself. Um, and I'll show you on the back of the box too. It kind of goes into like a little biography about it. Um, so this doll, this doll is from 1994. And this doll, again, is aimed more towards, uh, you know, black girls in particular. Um, but I, once I saw her, I was just like, oh my god, she's so pretty. Like, I really wanted to get her and see what she looks like, like, outside of the box. So as you can see, you know, she has um, this beautiful African uh, headdress. And she has her earrings a necklace, and then there's like a little jewel on her, uh, um, what's it called? Coat. <laughs> and then of course she has her jumpsuit, a ring, and a bracelet. And she has a little gold purse. She has two sets of high heels. You can't really see the one in the back, but it's there. I'll, I'll take it out and show you. And then also she has a brush, hairbrush. And then I guess these over here, I don't know. I think these are like supposed to be sleeves of some kind or something like that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I'll, I'll check them out and see if these things even work. So, yes. And also this is for ages over three and up. <laughs> um, so, yeah. The clo and interestingly, the clothing it says it also fits Barbie dolls. Cin all and these are all Mattel dolls, by the way. Barbie, Cindy, and Shawnee. They were all um, created. They were different groups that were created again by Mattel. And of course, obviously Barbie and obviously Shawnee. I don't know much really about the Cindy dolls, um, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> so this is the back of her. And it says, uh, Imani's got it all going on. Imani looks like royalty in her gold trim gown of African inspired fabric. This outfit is perfect for a special occasion. A regal headdress tops her long crimped hair, and she's truly an African American princess. And as you can see, um, yeah, they also made a uh, boy doll too. Menelik. However, on eBay, probably on other websites, but I can't... I, he's really, really rare. Rarer than the Imani doll. Um, but yeah, I know that they made... They also released, a few, again, a few other dolls, and they had, like, some sets along that came with the Imani doll. Um, so, yeah, but I just love the, the clothing. It's just so beautiful. And I, I, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, the lady in the picture. That's the owner, creator, this is president. And then the one who's holding the doll, the little fig action figure is her son. And, uh, and interestingly, his name is Menelik. So I think that's, that's who she named it again. I'm pretty sure after 105%. <laughs> so the Olmec story. Almost 10 years ago... My son sent shockwaves through my body when he said he couldn't be a superhero because he thought some dreams didn't come in his skin color. That was my inspiration to create Sun Man, which is the doll he's holding. The world's greatest superhero. Now playing with toys that look like him makes him feel good. We hope our toys help our children's self-image too. At Olmec, our love, our hopes, our skills, our styles, and our pride is in our toys. We are you. And then interestingly, you can get, a, you could have gotten a free catalog too. And then there's Olmec Toys. And again, this is from 1994. 
uh, her company, Olmec Toys, I did some research and it actually started, it found, it, she founded it in 1985 and then they became defunct in 1995. So this doll, interestingly, uh, is, was made a year before they became defunct. So we could just go ahead, I'll go ahead and open her up and I'll show you what she looks like. Okay, so she is now out of the box. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it wasn't really that ultimately hard to take her out. <laughs> um, but because of age, some of the... There was like some, again, like sticky residue stuff. Um, but otherwise, not that bad. She does have the properties of a Barbie doll. So when she comes up like this... Um... Yeah, she can move her arms too. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, see, she can move her arms like a Barbie doll. She's not ball jointed except at the knees, though. We're, and interestingly, they don't crack. They don't make that weird crack sound like Barbies do. It's like very quiet and silent, like so. Yeah, see? They're super quiet. Very, very quiet. So I like that. <laughs> um, she can also move her head as well, too. Yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, so she has pretty much the properties of a Barbie doll. So as you can see, she has her long coat, her jumpsuit, and also uh, this coat is very flowy it's also very glittery too the residue of glitter is just literally on my hands right now <laughs> so that's a bummer um yeah i mean i think that would have that's a definite bummer because if you think about it all the little girls and little boys that must have been playing with this doll just glitter glitter everywhere <laughs> So, um, yeah, and this too also comes off. It's Velcro. I've also tried to take off her coat to see because I was curious if her jumpsuit was all could also be taken off. And yes, it actually does come off. So, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful. And then she has her ring, also her little heels on. They don't fit her. <laughs> They're a little too big for her. But they just go perfectly together with her outfit. So either way, as long as it looks good on her outfit, I think she likes it too. <laughs> and also because of age, um, the paint is starting. I don't know if you could see that. The paint is a little bit starting to wear off. And then she has her ring, which is stuck right into her, her hand. <laughs> and then she has her little bracelet. Her beautiful necklace and she has her earrings I love her soft pink dark pink colors her eyeshadow her lipstick and also just goes together with her beautiful brown eyes and also the colors of her makeup just go together with her skin color and then she has her headdress too I wanted to see you know if you could take it off but actually I don't think I don't believe you can, and I don't really want to take it off, but there's, like, this thing that's, like, stuck in the back. There's, like, if you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, like, this white tag, and it's, like, stuck in the back. But either way, very beautiful. So, let me show you the accessories. First, first the purse. This is Velcro, so you can put um, like little jewelry in it and other little knickknacks. I guess if you're going to like a party or something like that, if you want to take her to a party, you could put like some little little knickknacks in there for her. So that's very very cute, very very cute. And also, it's the same material as her jumpsuit, so that's nice. And also, she has a brush, her little yellow brush. 
And also, too, as I'm looking, it has like a little seashell bottom, seashell handle. So that's pretty cool. And also, I tried to brush her hair a little bit to see how sturdy her hair is. And her hair is actually very, very sturdy. So I like that. And I was thinking because she's been in her box so long that her hair would just kind of fall off altogether. But no, like her hair is strong. So I like that very good on the hair and then we have these actually I actually on the box it literally says um, hold on. it literally says gloves <laughs> so these are gloves and I don't really want to put them on her like I feel like it would just look way too weird but I'll I'll try and see what they look like when she has those on so yeah, so yeah, um, this is a very good doll. She, um, so yeah, this is a very good doll. What makes Imani different from Barbie, I guess, is that Barbie is more focused on European looks, European styles, and everything like that. I know that they have the international dolls, but, um, you know, they're more, I, I feel like most of them, they only, they rarely put in, like, any, like, African dolls anyway. I know that they have, like, the Kenya doll and the Ghana doll and then I think there was another one, but I can't remember. Oh, Jamaica, Jamaica. They made a Jamaica doll, too, and a Kwanzaa doll. But they didn't make, like, re-releases of the dolls or anything like that. So, but then they made re-releases of pretty much all the other dolls. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> if you ever had a, an Imani doll, let me know in the comments below. Um, and also, if you like this video or you just like this doll, yeah, uh, give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you later. Bye-bye now.